Hi, I'm Shannon McMillan with Caddy Prefab Solutions. Since 2007, Caddy Prefab has been designing and manufacturing UO-listed prefabricated branch wiring systems and delivering those systems direct to the job site on the contractor's schedule. By designing and building the systems as you need them, Caddy Prefab is able to manage the changes that occur on the job site as the job progresses. Actually, I think what we do more than anything else is manage change. In fact, that's one of the things that's made us so successful over the years. The Caddy Open Back Box is the cornerstone of our system. This patented product allows us to deliver the system to the job site with the device installed and ensures field crews will not have to take the assembly apart for final connection. All final connections are easily made through the back of the box and a blank plate will be used to close the box after connection. As I stated earlier, Caddy Prefab doesn't just build prefabricated branch wire systems. We design the systems as well. Each project is assigned a designer who is responsible for the project from beginning to end. Our designers are all highly experienced field electricians who have worn the belt and understand the challenges you face. We feel having electricians design and manage our projects has been another key to our success. Product arrives at the job site palletized and in cartons that are clearly marked with labels showing the unit number or area type, making it easy for distribution on the job site. Each unit will have a clear plastic envelope attached to the side of the carton. In this envelope will be two things, a unit drawing designed specifically for that unit and a set of wall labels that corresponds with the drawing. The drawing has two sections. On the left is a list of all the assemblies in the unit, detailing the construction of each assembly. On the right is a unit drawing showing the location of all assemblies and the system wiring. Each assembly is assigned a number, which is noted on both the assembly list and the unit drawing. If it's more convenient, we can send the drawings to you electronically as well. So if you want to use your iPad as opposed to the actual drawings, you can. Wall labels have two numbers listed, an assembly number, which corresponds to the assembly number on the drawing, and a mounting height number that indicates the designed mounting height of the assembly. All accessory items required to complete the installation will be in an accessory box found in the main carton, such as connectors for the loose end of cables, back plates for the open back box, etc. There are four steps to installing the Caddy system. The first step is unit layout. Match the assembly number on the wall label to the assembly number on the unit drawing. Using the unit drawing, locate where the assembly is to be installed. Place the wall label on the stud as indicated in the drawing and at the mounting height noted on the wall label. The second step of installation is installing or mounting the assemblies. Match the assembly number on the assembly label to the assembly number on the wall label and mount the assembly. The third step of installation is routing the cable. Route cable from the start assembly to the connect to assembly as noted on the front of the assembly label using the routing path noted on the back of the assembly label. IW means end wall, OH means overhead. The last step of installation is the makeup. Once cable has been run and landed in the box, all that's left to do is the makeup, which is easily done through the back of the box. Install the back plate and you're done. Thank you for watching our video today. I hope it was informative and gave you some insight as to how the Caddy Prefab system is designed and installed. Look forward to seeing you on a job site soon.